We're equals, aren't we, 007? Yet it is 2011, and a man is still likely to earn more money than a woman, even one doing the same job. You have a far better chance of entering political office or becoming a company director. As a man, you're less likely to be judged for promiscuous behavior, which is just as well, frankly, and hardly any chance of falling victim to sexual assault. And unlike the 30,000 women in the UK who lose their jobs annually due to pregnancy, there would be virtually no risk to your career if you chose to become a parent or became one accidentally. For someone with such a fondness for women, I wonder if you've ever considered what it might be like to be one. The world has changed, but the numbers remain stacked against us. Women are responsible for two-thirds of the work done worldwide, yet earn only 10% of the total income and own 1% of the property. It's not just about money and power. Every year, 70 million girls are deprived of even a basic education, and a staggering 60 million are sexually assaulted on their way to school. We're afraid to walk the streets at night, yet some of us are even more afraid to return to our own homes. At least one in four are victims of domestic violence. And every week, two women in the UK are killed by a current or former partner. So, are we equals? Until the answer is yes, we must never stop asking.